Okay, so um, so today I'll be talking about the host case binding calculations in the OpenFF evaluator. Now, this uh, project was started by Simon Boothroyd and Dave Slockauer, and so I'll, I'll be giving an overview um, of our effort to integrate uh, Paprika into um, OpenFF evaluator. So for those who doesn't know what uh, Paprika is, I'll, I'll talk about it in this um, presentation. Um, okay. So question is, why do we care about host guest systems where we actually want a force field that will describe protein ligand in uh, systems? So host guest systems uh, contain both, uh, they may include both hydrophilic and hydrophobic interactions. Um, upon binding of the uh, guest molecule to the host, uh, the host may undergo conformational changes. Uh, the binding affinities are comparable to some uh, protein ligand systems ranging from weak to intermediate. And the protonation states of uh, the host can be predicted with high confidence. And it, uh, these systems have also been used in the sample challenges uh, to test the force fields and also the uh, computational methods. And compared to protein systems, they are much, much smaller so we can run the simulation uh, quicker and longer. So we use host gas systems as a good model to test and uh, hopefully optimize our force field. Um, so in particular, the host will be focusing on in our cyclodextrins. So these are cycling oligosaccharides consisting of glucose monomers. Um, and the naturally occurring um, Psychodextrins are alpha, beta, and gamma, consisting of six, seven, and eight glucose monomers, respectively. Um, they have a hydrophobic uh, interior with a hydrophilic ex uh, exterior. Um, they can bind small molecule fragments and drug-like molecules, and the experimental binding data are available for a wide range of gas molecules. Now, the host gas systems um, stored in this repository called Taproom, which is available on GitHub. The repository contains two host molecules, the alpha psychodextrin and the beta psychodextrins, with um, 33 gas molecules. Um, so 10 of them are amines, seven are cyclic alcohols, and 16 are carboxylate. So together they form 43 unique host gas pairs. Uh, the repository also includes structure files of the host gas system and the multi files contain AM1 BCC charges. There are also YAML files, which uh, contains information on how to set up the calculations, which I'll talk about in the next slide, and the experimental data obtained from the reference below. So, uh, although there may be more than one, method uh, or one way to estimate the binding free energy. Um, here uh, we'll focus on the APR method, the attached pool release method, which was developed in the Gilson lab. So here basically we first uh, define dummy atoms and anchoring atoms on the host and the gas, which will define a reaction coordinate that describes the, uh, the path that the uh, gas molecule would take by uh, upon binding or unbinding. Uh, and we split the simulation into three stages. So in the first stage, we attach the restraints and we apply restraints on the conformation of the host and the translational uh, translation and orientation of the guest. Um, and we do this over 15 windows and the work or the free energy cost of, a, of turning on the restraints is obtained by thermodyn thermodynamic integration. Um, and in the pull phase, we pull the gas out of the host over 45 windows. Um, and finally, in the release phase, uh, we release the restraints we applied on the host in a similar manner as the attach phase, but in reverse. Uh, for the gas, we don't need to run a uh, simulation for this because we can uh, estimate it analytically. Um, now, because of the asymmetry of the psychodextrin host, 
there are two possible binding powers. So we need to perform the API calculation twice on each uh, binding pose. And to get the final free energy, uh, we add the Boltzmann probability, probability of the two binding free energy and convert it back into energy space to get the final binding free energy. So as you can see, there are a lot of steps involved to perform a single APR calculations. But thankfully, we have the Paprika Toolkit um, which was developed by Dave Slockauer and Neil Hendrickson from the Gilson Lab, who are now both alumni of the Gilson Lab. And the Paprika Toolkit was built on Python 3, and it automates a lot of the, uh, uh, the process. So right now, it interfaces with the Amber simulation program. We can uh, create uh, the topology and structures uh, uh, from a Python API, with the TLIP program. Uh, the host guest restraints um, can be set up automatically. And the analysis of the MD tra trajectories can be done uh, with either TI or MBAR. And this is available uh, on GitHub. And this toolkit was used recently to benchmark the 43 host guest systems with the Smirnoff 99 Frost uh, Force Field 1.05. Um, Okay, so our goal is to take this toolkit and the APR uh, uh, calculation of, of the host guest systems and integrate it into Evaluator. Uh, now, this is a very sim uh, simple diagram of the uh, infrastructure. Uh, if you look at David Mobley's presentation or uh, Simon Boothroyd's presentation, they would have a much more sophisticated, sophisticated diagram. So given a, a force field defined um, by the OpenFF toolkit, the OpenFF evaluator will estimate physical properties through simulations such as, but not limited to uh, densities, dielectric constant, and the heat of vaporization. And then we can assess the uh, force field. How well did it match uh, the experimental data? So we want to include host guest binding into this process here. Um, and it, this is not limited to just uh, benchmarking force field. Uh, the evaluator also um, can be used to optimize the force field parameters. And uh, it does so by uh, integrating with force balance, which incorporates both QM data and experimental data. So we would like to include host guest binding, uh, host guest calculation as part of the optimization process to see if we can get a, a much better uh, force field. And Evaluator was designed a program from scratch by uh, Simon Boothroyd and it's available in the open force field GitHub repository. Um, so, okay, this is um, just to show a very simple diagram of the Paprika workflow that we have implemented in Evaluator. Um, so the first step is to generate the topologies and the structures uh, that's done by OpenFF Toolkit using the information given in Taproom. Um, next, we set up the host guest restraints, which we call in the Paprika Toolkit. The simulation is, uh, empty simulation is done by, uh, with OpenMM. And then the analysis is done through uh, Paprika. Uh, so this is the workflow for doing one APR calculation. Um, so Evaluator uses Dask, which is a Python library for um, uh, parallel computing. And Dask can um, uh, run, run these in parallel in a local cluster or in an HPC. So we can run all 43 host guest system in parallel. Um, so just to show uh, a snippet of what the user needs to do, uh, obviously specify the force fields. Uh, they need to select the data set, in this case, the taproom data set. Uh, choose the property to estimate. Uh, we wanted to do it host guest binding infinity through the Paprika workflow. And the rest will be starting up the server and client, um, which the user need to uh, define as uh, how much resource to use. And this template is, is 
the general template of um, how to set up the um, evaluator. And it's not unique to uh, uh, the host case binding. So for other uh, properties, the user just needs to change uh, the workflow options and the data set. So as you can see, there is a very minimal uh, effort on the user end as everything is automated in the, at the back end. Um, okay, so as I mentioned at the start of the presentation, this is still a work in progress. Uh, it is available on the GitHub repository of Evaluator under the Paprika integration branch. Uh, most of the workflow is implemented. Uh, we just have a few minor bugs and glitches that we need uh, to fix. So right now, uh, the Smyrna of 99 Frost and Parsley Force Field is supported through the OpenFF Toolkit. Uh, we also have support for the GIF 1 and 2 through the Amber Tools program. Uh, by default, the simulation will uh, use OpenMM, but we also have uh, the option to write it on Amber. Uh, as I mentioned on the previous slide, we can run it uh, on a local cluster or uh, on HPC. And our training data or uh, data set is limited to the 43 host case pairs. Um, so what's next? Uh, in the not too distant future, we would like to benchmark the parsley force field and see how well it performs uh, with the host case systems. Uh, we would like to, we need to implement the gradient uh, calculation, which will be needed for the parameter optimization. Um, also include a workflow uh, to calculate the binding FOP because we have the uh, experimental numbers for that as well. And also um, support for an implicit solvent um, as part of the host guest calculation. So there is, there are, um, uh, interest uh, for this in the Gilson lab. And last but not least, we would like to expand our training data. Uh, uh, to, uh, 43 is a bit small, right? Uh, we might include other host case systems other than Sarkodextrins. Uh So uh, I would like to acknowledge, obviously, Southern Bithroid and Days Lock Hour and the OpenFF uh, team, especially the software scientists. Jeff Wagner and David Dodson for technical support, uh, past, present, and future. And also the San Diego Supercomputing uh, Center where I've been running and testing my, uh, uh, the code. And on that note, uh, thank you for listening. And I apologize for my stuttering during the presentation.